Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, today I'm going to show you another uh, demo of a Spring Boot project and this time it's hospital management system and the same project is available in the Spring Embassy as well in simple J2EE means in JSP and Servlet as well so in case you need you can contact us in any technology related to the, under the Java domain so before we start the demo let's talk about the technology in depth like what we are using here so this is the spring boot project and this is the spring boot application in a slicer class and under that it's using mbc architecture uh, you can see here we have a, a configuration package controller package DAO package dto exception form services and utils okay so it's using completely annotations and for the spring boot handler and it's using embassy architecture and the maven tool to manage the dependencies uh, to manage the front end resources like uh, the view part it's using uh, jsp servlet uh, sorry jsp and jpa and for the designing purpose it's using uh, to define the elements it's using html css and uh, and uh, the bootstrap thing now let's launch the application and check how the functionality and the flow of the application are working from the front end. Okay, I'm closing my all the tabs from here and I just stop the server. So in case you have buy this project and you have the project installed in your machine, now you need to follow me to run the project and how can you access the output. So uh, if you go this, if you buy this project, our team will uh, handle the project uh, in this state like we will provide the complete configuration at your machine so we will set up this code at your machine also uh, we will set up the mysql database at your machine so your database will be look like this so i forgot to tell you uh, it's using mysql database and with hubnet so here you can see under the mysql workbench we have a hospital management spring boot database under this user table we have users so just if you want to view any data or uh, any table data just right click on it select the first option and you will see the uh, records here okay let's come to the application and start running the project so what you need to do just open this management package hospital management package and the initializer application class this one and just right click on this go to run as click on run on uh, spring app, boot app or you can run on the java application as well if you are not using sts tool this option will not display to you if you are using eclipse so you can run it as a java application so in my case i'm using a spring sts tool i just click to java spring boot app automatically in the console if you see lots of logs are there you just need to verify the last second last line tomcat started on the specific port so it's using port 8085 now when you got this project you will get the readme file with this so just open this readme file and you will get this url in this file just copy this url and enter the url on your browser when i enter the browser it will automatically application will launch and you can see this will be your home page it has a slider and three options are there uh, in the left side home about us and contact us when i click on the home it will show me this page and when you click on the about us it will display on the about us and when you click on the contact us it will display on the contact us other option we have a sign up so i can sign up if i'm a new user for the hospital i can sign up as an uh, user or I, I can sign up as a person so I'm just using my auto filler to fill the data and click on the save button so if you see Glena is just registered into the database now check the database and refresh the user table you will see the new record entered into the database so if you see this record is newly added and the role name is percent okay now we have another option as a sign in so there are multiple roles in this application like we have a roles for the admin so admin can perform different operation doctors are there receptionists are there and patients are there so uh, as per the role uh, you can perform the different different operation so how do you differentiate the roles 
so if you notice the user table see uh, these all are the users like the admin is also user of the application doctor is also a user of the application so these all are the users so we are using a common table here we are differentiating them by id so if you see the role name if you see that here as an admin doctor is at this person so according to their user properties or their uh, uh, like work of role it can be divided here so if i log in as an admin and let's log in as an admin and check the functionality what admin can perform there so how can i log in as an admin so here if you see we have a login id for the admin and uh, i'm changing some data uh, to check of here doctor one two three and here we have a receptionist and we have a patient okay now it's good let's log in as an admin and check the what admin can perform so i'm using id admin at the rate uh, sorry admin one two three and the password will be password in my database it's p a double dollar word not equal to so this is the password when i hit the sign in button it's logged in as an admin here and you can check what admin can perform so admin can add a new doctor so what field and admin just need to fill this field send for field first name last name login id and these all the data so i'm just using my filter so auto filter that will fill my form and click on the save button when i click data is saved successfully it means a new doctor is added into the database now if i check the doctor list i will see the data here now if i talk about the functionality we have different functionality here like we can search operation we can perform search operation we can edit the records uh, we can delete the records let's click on the checkbox and click on the delete we'll delete the record once the record reach more than 10 in this table the second option will be enabled here for the next okay other module we have a receptionist so admin have access to add the receptionist and also admin can check the list of receptionist here in case uh, admin want to add any room number into the hospital so admin can add a room so let's say i'm using room number 250 selected general ward private ward or icus let's say i select a general ward and the price of let's say 2300 and click on save room added successfully and now you can see the newly added room here on the list in all kind of lists you can perform the crude operation like edit delete update search short uh, these operations are there okay along with this we have a my profile option for the admin we have a change password option and the logout button now it's logged out as an admin now let's log in as a doctor and check what doctor can perform here so i just enter the username for the doctor and i enter the password for the doctor i just sign in as a doctor so what doctor can do doctor can check the uh, list of patients and doctor doesn't have access to edit or delete this report so uh, let's say i'm a doctor and uh, i have this patient and uh, i can check the appointment list what are the appointment for this doctor and i can add a patient summary Let's say some patient visit to me and I need to enter, I allow some uh, like treatment to him and I just need to add the summary there. So I just add the record and I check summary, I can check here. Here we have one option to file in case of any documents is uploaded, it will display the document over there. Some report section, some kind of report like uh, x-ray report or something other option we have edit and also because a doctor is only going to edit this patient somebody so i think doctor can edit and update these records okay now if i log out as a doctor and next i have uh, the receptionist so what receptionist can do a receptionist can log in into the application and then he can assign appointments okay receptionist can check the list of doctors but receptionist doesn't have access to edit or delete the record 
reception is the patient form let's say the new patient will come and uh, on the reception and he want appointment from the doctor so here we have a doctor list so a, a receptionist can add the uh, patient detail or assign appointment to the doctor so let's say for this doctor i want to assign a uh, patient so i'm just entering the dummy data once you will enter the valid data it will um, work accordingly so for this doctor many river i'm going to uh, assign a patient so now if you check the patient list it will assign to this doctor now when this doctor will log in into the system it will say the appointment uh, scheduled for this particular patient other thing we have appointments so again i can assign the appointments and <clears throat> i can check the appointment list i can check the allotted room so what are the let's say as a receptionist i need to allot a room to that particular doctor or particular patient so let's say for joseph i want to allot the room number 101 so as a receptionist i can allot that room so allotted room is there okay now if i go to bill i can check the I, I i i can generate a bill for that particular patient so let's say i have this patient and i want to generate a bill so let's say five thousand i need to pay I click on save billing list you can check the billing list as well now let's log in as an uh, patient and check what patient can do into the system so we have newly added record just use some existing records so we'll you will check the data so by this user i am going to log in as an person so i just enter username password and if i check the bill list i have this bills appointment list i can check my appointment list as a user i can i user also have access to uh, uh, take appointment from the doctor also, we have a patient list, we have a patient form. If I'm going to fill the patient form, I can fill, I can check the list of doctors. So, these are the functionality from the user side, patient side, who so can check into the, uh, perform this kind of um, uh, input forms and check the list. Okay, so that's it from the hospital management in the Spring Boot. And the same copy, like the same project, some different functionality, some minor functionalities so these are the complete functionality of the hospital management system in spring boot and uh, in case you want the source code you can contact us over the whatsapp skype or email as as i said in the uh, starting of the video we have a remote support so don't worry about the configuration and the installation thing we are going to uh, if you go to contact us and our support team will help you to run the project at your machine also we have services to explain the uh, project flow and internet code how the things are working internally and if you are preparing for the interview or internship program it will really going to help you uh, so just contact us and prepare for the interview thank you